Come on, 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 come on. Where is that guy? We're late. The show is starting. Oh, he's late again. Uh, John, where are you? Come on, 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 come on. Sing along is starting. Where is he? Oh, hello there, Sammy. Hi, hi, Tyrone. Hi, listen. John is late for the sing-along again. Ah, oh, for crying out loud. Well, gee whiz. Maybe he just had something else he needed to do. I bet he'll be here soon. Oh, come on, come on, come on, Tyrone. Come on, it doesn't work that way. We got deadlines. We got to get the work done. Where is that guy? Everybody's waiting. Ah, oh, this is a disaster. Sammy, take a deep. You seem a little stressed out. Well, of course I'm stressed out. The sing-along is starting, and John is nowhere to be found. Ah! Hmm. Well, you know, when I get a little bit stressed out sometimes, you know what I do? What do you do? What do you do? What? I just wait it out and see what happens. Ah, uh, that's terrible advice! And why do you talk so slow? You're such a slow talker! It's very frustrating to me! Oh, well, everybody talks at their own speed, Sammy. That's just the way the world works. And oh, look, I think I see our host now! There he is! Ah, uh, it's about time! Where you been? Oh, hey, guys. Oh, gosh. Sorry if I'm coming a little bit late. I, you know, my watch... Must have been a little slow or something. Thank you for opening up the sing-along for me, guys. All right, all right, all right. Get on with the songs. Great to see you, bud. Good to see you guys, too. All right, my friends. Good to see you all out there on the internet at your own homes. Welcome to another Harris Center sing-along nature songs with me, John Benjamin. It's been a lot of fun to... Uh, have all these sing-alongs for you the last few weeks, and we're going to keep it going today with a brand new show. I'm on my porch here in Spofford, New Hampshire. It's a pretty nice day, so I thought I'd enjoy the fresh air while we have our sing-along today about a topic I am very excited about. We've been exploring different groups of animals and plants and fungi every week on our sing-along program, and this week we are going to talk about one of my very favorite groups of animals, one uh, of the groups of animals that I've loved ever since I was a little tiny kid, and we're talking about reptiles. So raise your hand if you've ever heard the word reptile before. Hmm, so a lot of you have heard the word reptile. Maybe you know a little bit about what a reptile is, maybe not, and that's okay too, because today we're going to talk about the world of reptiles, and we're going to talk especially and sing about two groups of reptiles that I love a lot, snakes and turtles. So today we're going to have a mix of a little bit of learning, a little bit of uh, talking about reptiles, and definitely some music too. I've got two brand new songs that I'm really excited to share with you today, um, and that'll come up in just a few minutes here. And I asked you if you ever heard the word reptile before, and a lot of you raised your hands, I can see out there. So reptiles are a group of animals that includes snakes and turtles and lizards, as well as crocodiles and alligators. And all of these animals have the same kind of thing covering their bodies. And maybe some of you know the word for what reptiles have on their bodies. It's called scales. Everybody say that together. One, two, three. Scales. So what I have here is actually a specimen from the Harris Center of a snake. And believe it or not, this is a rattlesnake. You can see it's very unique rattle tail. Now, my friends, most snakes are not rattlesnakes. In fact, here in New Hampshire, there's only one rattlesnake that is almost extinct. It's been, it's been kind of wiped out. It's kind of a sad story, actually. But uh, we don't have too many venomous snakes like this rattlesnake around here in uh, New England, in New Hampshire. But this is a good specimen of a 
real uh, type of snake. Where I grew up out in Colorado, I did see sometimes rattlesnakes out uh, in some of the prairie habitats where I would be exploring. And when I would see them, I would just keep my distance. They always let you know when they're there because uh, this rattle it makes a sound that warns off predators. And really, that's all any snake is trying to do is just keep you away. It wants to be alone. It's shy. It doesn't want to hurt you. It just wants you to stay away, especially a rattlesnake like this. But anyway, look closely at this rattlesnake's body, and you can see those scales I was talking about, all those scales covering its body, and that is a unique adaptation on all reptiles, whether it's a, a snake or a turtle or a lizard or even an alligator, they all have scales on their bodies, which is very different than, for instance, amphibians. We talked about them the other week. They've got that special slimy skin that they can actually breathe through. Uh, but reptiles, they've got kind of a tougher skin with scales. So reptiles, they can survive in lots of different habitats. Even if it's very dry, they can protect their bodies from drying out with those scales. So you can find reptiles in the deserts and in the prairies and swamps and forests. And definitely right here in my own backyard and local environment here in New Hampshire, uh, we've got lots of different snakes and turtles that are living. And I bet a lot of you have probably seen snakes and turtles, maybe when you've been out exploring or walking. So today we're going to be singing about reptiles. We're going to be learning more about snakes and turtles and what makes reptiles uh, special and unique. And I'll be showing you a few more things that I brought from uh, the Harris Center today. So I think let's go ahead and move on to the music, everyone. Now, I'm sorry to say our assistants Wicket and Yoda actually are not with us today. They had important business to attend to. They wouldn't tell me what it was. They asked if they could borrow my car. And I said, sure. I mean, I trust you guys know how to drive a car. And they said, sure. So they're off somewhere. Um, but I'll be trying to get my lyrics together today. Unfortunately, uh, Tyrone and Sammy, the turtle and snake, can't help because Sammy has no legs. And Tyrone moves pretty slow. So I'll try to keep the lyrics uh, projected here. And when you have a chance, you can go to harriscenter.org slash singalongs. And that's where all the lyrics to all these uh, songs that I've been writing and sharing with you every week on these singalongs is posted. So soon enough, we'll have the lyrics for today's uh, songs up there. And I'm really excited to share with you guys some of these new tunes I've been working on. So I hope um, you'll enjoy them. And let's go ahead and get the music going today, everybody. I know you're probably all ready to sing. You're like, that's enough talking. Let's start singing. So let's see if I can navigate this myself. This first song is actually about turtles. So this is a song that is about um, how turtles live in a shell. A little bit about their slow pace of life. That's always something that I try to learn from turtles is, you know, they... Uh, they move pretty slow, they take their time, and it's good to remember that that's something we can all learn from sometimes. And turtles have been around for literally millions of years. They evolved 260 million years ago. We find, find fossils that show turtles that old. That might not mean anything to you, but that's a long time ago. So turtles have been around since the time of dinosaurs. They've uh, been doing their thing for a long time. So this song is a little bit about that. It's about kind of how old and ancient they are. Also about kind of their slow pace of life. And I'm excited to teach you guys this song. This is kind of a new song. And it's got a few different parts to it. And I'm still kind of trying to figure it out too. So you guys are going to help me figure it out together today. And as always, my mandolin is out of tune. Gosh, that's just how it always seems to be. It's always the A string. Don't you notice that? The A string seems to go to Tim. Yeah, I noticed that. So this first song that I'm going to try to teach you today is called Living in a Shell. And it's about turtles. So there's kind of two, there's actually three parts to this song. I sort of, I didn't know where it was going when I was writing it. And then we kind of got some interesting, uh, sort of genres here. So uh, the first part of the song kind of has a slow feel. It's kind of that slow turtle feel. And um, I'll teach you one part of the song at a time, because then we go on to the chorus and the bridge and they're both a little bit different. So let's just see how it goes and see if we can learn that, that living in a shell song today. And oh. wish Yoda was here to tell some jokes or do some dancing or something. Um. How many of you have seen, this spring, a turtle? How many of you have seen a turtle 
in the past, sometime in the past, you've seen a wild turtle maybe out basking on a log. Where I often see turtles is when I'm walking by a lake or a pond, I look at the branches and logs at the edge of the water, and that's where they'll be climbing out to bask in the sun because all reptiles need to get warm from their environment. So they love to be in the sun because they can't stay very warm on their own like mammals and birds can. So the song mentions that too. And does that sound in tune? Yeah, I think so. So let me see if I can make sure you can see the lyrics here for verse one. And oh, let's see. I'm trying to navigate myself today. Cool. So how about this? I'll teach you the, the, the fun little melody first of the song. It's the first part of the song, and it's kind of a slow thing. And you don't have, you have to sing any words at first. You can just make this kind of little funny sound that's like, bo-dum, bo-dum, bo-dum. I'll teach you how it goes. Bo-dum, bo-dum, bo-dum. Oh, wait, let's go to A minor. That's a better key. Try it together again. Ready? Cool. So let's just that we'll come back to that sometimes in the song where and y'all if you don't want to sing the lyrics, you can just sing the bum to dums and that's fine. But it's the same melody for the rest of the verses. Uh, so let's try the first verse. Actually, I'll sing it to you this time with the lyrics, but the same kind of melody. So if you want to just kind of bump a dump a dum along, that's fine too. Let's try it together. Come and listen to my tale of creatures that prevailed, ambassadors from prehistoric times. For two million years or more, they hung out with dinosaurs. And somehow through it all, though an asteroid did fall, today these armored reptiles still survive. All right, let's try that all together. Come and listen to my tale of creatures that prevailed, ambassadors from prehistoric times. For two million years and more, they hung out with dinosaurs, and somehow through it all, though an asteroid did fall, today these armored reptiles still survive. And then we're gonna go to the chorus, which is kind of a change of the feel of the song. It's a little bit, a little bit faster. You know, for some reason, I mean, turtles are slow, but they make me feel like dancing sometimes. I really can't explain it. So this song has kind of a part where if you like dancing, you can dance a little bit. There's even some clapping we can do, I'll teach you. So, you know, we're gonna go to a whole new place now for the chorus. And then the bridge, we'll see what happens there too. So we kind of had that last part where, uh, today these armored reptiles still survive. And then we go to this next part. They are turtles living in a shell. Turtles, I bet you know them well. See them basking on logs on the banks of a pond. Oh, those turtles must have stories to tell. Just keep doing what they've always done so well. Here goes to the bridge. Let's try the chorus together, right? One, two. They are turtles living in a shell. Turtles, I bet you knew them well. See them basking on logs on the banks of a pond. Oh, those turtles must have stories to tell. They just keep doing what they've always done so well. <laughs> and then we're going to go to... Oh, I'm sorry, you couldn't even read that. My bad. Let's do the course again where you can read it. I was reading it myself, and you can read it. Let's try the course again. One, two, three, four. Turtles living in a shell. Turtles, I bet you know them well. See them basking on logs on the banks of a pond. Oh, I bet those turtles have stories to tell. They just keep doing what they've always done so well. The bridge. 
Figuring it out, right, everybody? It's the bridge. Let's see if I can just move it here. Yoda, wicked, I miss you. Come back soon. Ah, uh, the bridge. We had the chorus. And the bridge is the part where you can really like, clap your hands and even kind of like get, get a little bit a little bit dancey and funky if you want to, if you want to. So uh, we kind of had that last part. They keep on doing what they've always done so well. Wait it out, take it slow. Guess it only goes to show. Slow and steady wins the race. Just look into a turtle's face. There are secrets in their eyes. They carry from the ancient times. It can't be wise to take things slow. And then we go back to the slow part when we have the word slow there. And then we can do the bump to dum to dum thing together. So this kind of song kind of has three parts. It's got the verse and the chorus and the bridge. And then when, when you get to the chorus and the bridge, if you want to kind of like have some hand claps, if you want, to, if you're going to dance in, I think that's awesome. So I think you should dance. Um, and let's try the let's try the chorus into the bridge together. All right. So it's the part where it's they are turtles. And then we're going to go right into the next part, which is wait it out, take it slow. The lessons of the turtle. Let's see if we can do it. Let's try the chorus. One, two, three. They are turtles living in a shell. Turtles, I bet you know them well. See them basking on logs on the banks of a pond. Ah, those turtles must have stories to tell. They just keep doing what they've always done so well. Wait it out, take it slow. Guess it only goes to show. Slow and steady wins the race. Just look into a turtle's face. There are secrets in their eyes. Carry from the ancient times. Can be wise to take things slow. So I'll have some little instrumental parts there. And then we're going to go back to another verse. How about this? I'll sing the other verse with you. And let's try the whole song together after that. Let's see if we can actually do the whole thing, uh, every part together. So let's do verse two, which comes after the first chorus and bridge. And this one is the same melody as the beginning. This one talks a little bit more about turtle shells, how they're part of their body, made from their bones. It talks about uh, where they lay their eggs on land and about how reptiles all are cold-blooded. Their temperature on the inside is the same as the outside. So let's learn about it and sing this verse together. See if I can get it right. The turtle shell is made from ribs. Let's try that again. The turtle shell is made from ribs and vertebrae. Evolution can produce the strangest beasts. Lay their eggs upon the land, dig nests down in the sand, and like all their reptile kin, their temperature within is controlled by the temperature outside. Ectotherms! You can yell that word there, because that's the name for animals that are cold-blooded. Ectotherms. Can you say that? Ectotherms. So even if you get nothing else, if you can't sing any of the rest of it, just wait till that last part, and then you just yell at the top of your lungs, Ectotherms! And you'll still have done it just right. Okay, let's try that again. See if I can get that melody a little better there. Actually, how about this? Let's try the whole song. I think we're ready for the whole song. All right, I'm gonna have to stop maybe once or twice to change the lyrics up here. But everyone take a quick stretch break, you know, um, you know, a quick stretch. A lot of singing here, you know. Um, let's see here. All right, let's try living in a shell from the beginning. Boom, 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 boom. Here we go. First one. Come and listen to my tale of creatures that prevailed, ambassadors from prehistoric times. Two million years and more, they hung out with dinosaurs. 
And somehow through it all, though an asteroid did fall, today these omelet reptiles still survive. Here's the course one, two. They are turtles living in a shell. Turtles, I bet you know them well. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's try that course again where you can actually see the lyrics. <laughs> oh, oh God, hold on. It's so much harder without my assistance. Oh, well. Okay, we're ready for the chorus. It's going to be so good. You got to clap this time because you have this big pause. That's honestly the key to a good chorus for a pop song. You should have that little pause and you're waiting. You're like, what's going to happen? And then it comes back with the beat and you're ready to jam out. So let's try that again. Um, <laughs> Today these armored reptiles still survive. Here's the chorus. They are turtles living in a shell. Turtles, I bet you know them well. On the banks of a pond, <laughs> basking on logs. On the banks of a pond, oh, those turtles must have stories to tell. They just keep doing what they've always done so well. Here comes the bridge. It's going to be super fun and dancing. And it's all part of build up. And you got to clap. Here we go. Oh, wait it out. Take it slow. I guess it only goes to show. Slow and steady wins the race. Look into a turtle's face. There are secrets in their eyes. Care of me sometimes. Be wise to take things slow. Let's try the last verse together and then one more chorus and bridge. It's all ready to go, so I don't have to ship it. This is the professional kind of show we're running here. Without my assistance, it's a little bit of a rough show, but let's see if we got this. Um, cool. All right, so here's a verse, not verse one, whatever, it's verse three. That's right. Okay, so verse, the last verse, and into the chorus and the bridge. I think it's all there, so you can see it. Masa menos. Uh, yeah. And again, haircenter.org slash singalongs, and you'll be able to find all my song lyrics up there to download if you want to watch these videos again. They're online. Who knows how long? And you can watch them again. You can sing along again, and you can get those lyrics to print out at home or uh, have them available. But for right now, we've got my super high tech system. So let's try the last verse of the turtle song and into the chorus and the bridge. And we'll have time for one more after that. All right. Here's the verse three about the shell. One, two, three. The turtle shell is made from ribs and vertebrae. Evolution can produce the strangest beasts. Lay their eggs upon the land. Dig nests down in the sand, and like their reptile kin, the temperature within is controlled by the temperature outside. Ectotherms! We're gonna go to the chorus. Deep breath. One, two, three. They are turtles living in a shell. Turtles, I bet you know them well. See them basking on logs on the banks of the Turtles must have stories to tell. They just keep doing what they've always done so well. Wait it out, take it slow. Guess it only goes to show. Slow and steady wins the race. Look into a turtle's face. There are secrets in their eyes. Carry from the ancient times. Can be wise to take things slow. Pitch one more time. Wait it out. Take it slow. Guess it only goes to show. Slow and steady wins the race. Just look into a turtle's face. There are secrets in their eyes. Carry from the ancient times. It can be wise to take things. No. <laughs> well, there you go.
go, folks. The world world premiere of Living in a Shell. Got a little, hopefully you had some fun. Maybe got a little dancey there. I don't know. Could be a big club hit soon. I mean, who doesn't want to dance? What's learning about turtles? I think everyone does. So, uh, gosh, it's 12.25, but I think we can keep on. I mean, what time is it really when you're watching this? I don't know. So let's go have another song. That was our turtle song. Uh, and let's go on to a snake song. This is another brand new song about snakes. Now, I was hoping I was going to be able to catch a snake for this show. I was out in the woods. I was looking. I was hoping I could get a garter snake or a milk snake or one of the many snake species that live in New Hampshire, and I couldn't find one. It's been a little bit chilly here, a little bit cold for the last uh, few days, and not the best conditions to find a reptile because, like that song mentioned, they're cold-blooded. They need the warm temperature to make the inside of their body warm, so you're going to find a lot more reptiles active on warm, sunny days than on cold, chilly days here in New Hampshire. So... Oh, well, I tried, but I bet you out there may have seen some reptiles, maybe some snakes in your yard, maybe some turtles in nearby ponds. And this next song is all about snakes, those reptiles that have no legs. Raise your hand if you've ever seen a snake in the wild before. Hmm. Have any of you ever even held a snake or come close to a snake? Maybe some of you have. Maybe if you've known somebody that has a pet snake or at a zoo or something, or maybe you've even caught like a garter snake before, which is awesome. I catch them all the time. And you know, snakes are one of those animals that have a lot of a bad reputation about them. People tell stories about them and a lot of people are afraid of them and really don't like them. And you know, uh, it's one of those things where I understand a lot of people are afraid of snakes. They may have heard stories. They may have been afraid of a snake when they were young and then they are always nervous around a snake. And it's okay if you are a little bit nervous about snakes. There's no nothing wrong with that. But I think that when you learn more about snakes and you learn the truth about them, you will come to love snakes maybe or maybe at least not be afraid of them but the more i learn about snakes the more i think they're just awesome and really they they're not out to hurt you they're not trying to harm us and very few snakes are venomous those are the ones like rattlesnakes that actually have venom and can be dangerous but there's not very many of them and as long as you're a little bit smart and know a little bit about how to recognize the difference between a venomous snake and a non-venomous snake you're gonna be fine in fact i'll teach you right now because uh, why not um this rattlesnake is in the viper family. And look at the head of this rattlesnake. See how it's big and wide, like a triangle shape? It's, its neck is skinny and his head is very wide. That's a viper's head. It's in the viper family. They are venomous snakes. There are vipers and rattlesnakes in some parts of North America and of course other places too. Uh, but you don't find them all that often. And here in New Hampshire, we had one rattlesnake, the timber rattlesnake, and it's pretty much gone now, unfortunately, because so many people were afraid of it. They actually killed it and wiped it out from the environment. And nowadays there are very few of them left, which I think is pretty sad because these snakes are really not very aggressive or dangerous at all. They like to keep to themselves. They were, they were just harmless living in the mountains and the hills and the rock piles, but people were afraid of them. They didn't understand them and they found them and they actually killed most of them, which I think is pretty sad. So uh, I hope this song can teach you a little bit more about snakes. And, you know, it's okay to have a little bit of fear and nervousness about snakes, but I think the more you learn, the more you'll agree that snakes are nothing to worry about. They're just one more amazing animal in our ecosystems. And they're really cool to find, really fun to observe and watch if you can sneak up and not scare them off because snakes are nervous and shy. If you scare one, it might just slither away very quickly. You won't get a good look at it because they just want to get away from you. And they're, I bet, more scared of you than you are scared of them, probably. Um, so anyway, uh, that's a little bit about snakes. I hope some of you have seen snakes. Uh, the most common snake, by the way, is the garter snake, G-A-R-T-E-R, -E which has a, two um, yellow stripes on its body, some yellow stripes that kind of um, are on sort of darker, brownish, grayish scales. And I have found them all the time back in Colorado when I was a kid and here in New Hampshire, and they're all over the place. So I bet a lot of you have seen garter snakes, and they're totally harmless. Uh, you can try to pick them up. If they give you a little bite or a nip, it's not going to hurt you, you know? I mean, if you want to let it go, that's okay. I mean, if you want to be gentle with it, it might not bite you at all. But anyway, these snakes are harmless. They're super cool. And we'll sing a little bit about them for our um, second reptile theme song today for our sing-along. So let's see if I can get my lyrics once again, super high tech up here for a song, for another brand new song, hot off the presses called It's a Snake. And this song has, guess what, some hissing in it. So I hope at home you might have some fun making some hissing snake sounds as part of our 
second song today. Let's see if we can get this in the frame there. All right. So this song, I'll teach you. And let's start kind of slow here. Let's keep it like that. See if we can do it. I'm kind of learning it too. Brand new song. Let's try it. One, two. You can definitely do the hissing if nothing else, right? Here we go. Two, three. Look, it's a snake slithering there in the grass. It's a snake. But having no legs, it can move pretty fast. It's a snake. I admit that it gave me a fright. It's a snake. When I saw it move in the corner of my eye. Cool. That's the verse. I'm going to go to another verse, verse two, which is kind of the same thing. And I'll get that up for you right now. Let's see. There it is. Cool. Okay, verse two of the snake song. And then we're gonna have the chorus of the snake song after verse two we'll go into. And we'll see if we can do the whole song together. So, same kind of melody, sort of groove. <laughs> Make sure I'm reading the right words here. Okay, here we go, verse two. One, two, three. When I see a snake, out and scream. I used to believe that all snakes were evil and scary and mean. But now I know that I don't need to be so afraid. Snakes don't want to hurt us. And most snakes are harmless anyway. Try the verse two together and I'll teach you the chorus. When I see a snake, I used to freak out and scream. Ah! I used to believe that all snakes were evil and scary and mean. But now I know that I don't need to be so afraid. Snakes don't want to hurt us. And most snakes are harmless anyway. Let's try the chorus. You know, snakes get a bad rap. Too many old stories that just aren't true. The more I observe and learn about snakes, the more that I love them. How about you? Let's try that chorus together. One, two, one, two, three. You know snakes get a bad rap. Too many old stories that just aren't true. The more I observe and learn about snakes, the more that I love them. How about you? Here we go. Kiss with me, ready? All right, cool. We're moving right along, everybody. Let's try, there's one more verse of the snake song, and then let's try the whole thing again. Um, nobody's here. Yoda and Wiccan aren't here to cut me off after my half an hour, so I'm just gonna keep going. 
dangerous. All right. Um, make sure I get all the lyrics in order here. So this is the song. It's a snake. We're going to do the last verse. Teach you that one. And let's try the whole thing after that. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Got that. I got that. Verse two. Got that there. Professional show business, everybody. That's the that's the way we roll. Um, hmm. Well, that's okay. You won't do the third verse. <laughs> You'll have to wait for the big um, album to come out sometime. Actually, I hope actually to have an album of uh, these songs eventually. Uh, with lots of slight professional production. But for right now, you guys are my guinea pig audience. And thanks for listening and singing along. And let's just try to finish out our sing-along one more time through It's a Snake with the lyrics that I seem to have available for you. Um, verse two here. All right, let's just try the whole thing. Can you see it? <laughs> Beautiful. I'll just kind of sneak in there. <laughs> All right, everybody. Let's try singing out the It's a Snake song. It's a song about how you don't have to be so afraid. Snakes are amazing animals. They are really cool, and you can learn a lot about them by just watching them and observing them. And you might really come to fall in love with them like I did. They're pretty amazing. So let's have our final run through of It's a Snake. Don't forget those hisses. One, two, three. Look, it's a snake. Slithering bell in the grass. It's a snake. For well, having no legs, it can move pretty fast. It's a snake. I admit that gave me a fright. It's a snake. When I saw it move in the corner of my eye. Wait, hold on. Oh, 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 maybe we do have the last one. Okay, here we go. Uh, <laughs> let's try this last one here. Perfect. Look at that. So smooth transition. All right, let's do verse two. One, two, three. <clears throat> one, two. When I see a snake, I used to freak out and scream. I used to believe that all snakes were evil and scary and mean. But now I know that I don't need to be so afraid. Snakes don't want to hurt us. And most snakes are harmless anyway. Here's the chorus. One, two, three. You know snakes get a bad rap. Too many old stories that just aren't true. The more I observe and learn about snakes, the more that I love them. How about you? Let's do the chorus again. You know snakes get a bad rap. Too many old stories that just aren't true. The more I observe and learn about snakes, the more that I love them. How about you? All right, Dan, we're just going to have some kissing. Ready? Talking about snakes. Talking about the end. All right, everyone. Thanks for bearing with me with all the lyrical transitions without my assistance. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed our reptile sing-along today. Uh, we've got two more sing-alongs coming up. Um, we're going to finish out this weekly live series. And um, all the lyrics, again, are available online. If you want to download, this video will be posted uh, on the Hair Center YouTube page. So you can watch it again or share it with someone that you think might enjoy it. And... I hope you go out and look for reptiles. As always, there are so many amazing animals and plants and 
fungi and cool things right outside if we just look for them and pay attention and observe carefully. So I hope you can all spend some time uh, this week exploring whatever place outside that you're able to. Maybe it's your backyard. Maybe you even have a trail or a little forest or a pond or something you can walk near and keep your eyes open for reptiles, for especially here in New England, snakes and turtles that you might find out and about. And if you see one, Try to sneak up on it, because if you move too fast or make too much noise, it might jump in the water or slither away, and you won't be able to watch it. So try to be very sneaky when you're sneaking up on a snake or a turtle. But that's all the time we have for today, everyone. Thank you for listening to another Hair Center Nature sing-along with me, John Benjamin. And I look forward to our next sing-along. Next week will be, I believe, Bugs or rather arthropods. We're going to learn about that scientific word next week. So hope to see you then. Until next time, everybody, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.